today on the writer's room. Raph leaves. Mikey starts stripping, and Donnie, Donnie's on heroin. <laughs> Her counterpart is this dude named Rasputin, the disputing mutant. This gargantuan man has a massive <laughs> gut, but wears women's clothing, right? Runs a clit, the back's a massive cock. <laughs> hey, party in back, business uh. up front. What up? What up, my man? Welcome to the writer's room, guys. Girls. And everything in between. My idea this week, I have, you know, DC Comics? I've heard of it. So I'm thinking we do PC Comics. Politically correct? Well, you don't have to say anything. We just say PC Comics. And I got two superheroes. One's named uh, Galangela. She's a... A woman, she has an overactive sweat gland, so she can grease up shit, make stuff slippery for people that are chasing her. She also gives one hell of a hand job. Zoom. So, so we got Galangela, and then her counterpart is this dude named Rasputin, the disputing mutant. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know what he's going to really do, but all he does... He argues. He, he, he disputes, disputes, yeah. How about, uh... uh Trans man. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Every episode, this guy's got to fucking push it. Well, we are PC comics, ladies PC, and gentlemen. PC, dude. It's trans man. This dude can switch sexes. So this could be in Sanctuary City. So like, <laughs> uh, so like Gotham. Yeah. Uh, this is Sanctuary City. Yeah, so this like, isn't bad. so you have you can feel superhero. free to live your life any which way you please. The wall jumper. This dude can jump back and forth between America and Mexico without being caught. Hold on a second. Go back to the Tran Man though, because I'm thinking, what if Tran Man doesn't even have superpowers? See, all he's really doing is he's shooting testosterone. So when the testosterone runs off. He goes back into the, the more feminine type of, of, his, of himself. Then when he wants to get all jacked up, he pumps up. Then he can go fucking take a piss in the male, the, the male trough that the, down at the Joe. Pulls out his big dog. <laughs> yeah. That's the scene, man. It's, you know how in like the, the, the werewolf movies it shows him transforming? Well, for Tran Man, it's a close-up of his clit. And then it's... <laughs> <laughs> that's dude that's that's a symbol too yeah it's a it's a clit in the, the the front's a clit the back's a massive cock <laughs> hey party in back business uh, up front holy shit <laughs> weren't you talking about a skit where you play like a buddha or something and you we had the reli the uh blunders in history yeah yeah blunders in religious history yeah Everything was mistaken, and now, 2,500 years later, it's just... You mean what actually happened? Right. I mean, this, this might be what actually happened. Completely different than what people say today, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm sick of people fucking claiming that they know exactly what happened. Noah literally just walked across a little A street, little puddle, yeah. Picked up a little turtle that was having a hard time. In a he was actually puddle. trying to woo a woman. He carried a woman over a puddle, and... A myth was born. Yeah, this dude built a <laughs> boat and he gathered every species. No, he yeah. banged someone yeah, that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He spread his seed. He the, the, carry the, woman. the myth, that, that's what happened. He carried a woman ah. over a puddle and he spread his seed that night. Turned into him fucking battling a great flood and then repopulating the earth. Some of these religious tales sound like the tales I come up with to try and spread seed. Yes. Well, what were we talking about with the Buddha where he began to... The guy offers him like some goat or something, and he this he, Buddha went ballistic the night before, and all you can eat meat buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's all stuffed up. <laughs> it's literally so. This dude's just like one time, like I don't want any beef right now. I don't want a cow right now. <laughs> Red meat. Check with me in a half hour, yeah. and then two twenty five hundred years later, it's like no cows yeah. were cows he were gods. Down, he was my gouts through the fucking roof right cows now. Cows were gods. Yeah. No, dude. We fucking loved filet. No one taught us how to do it right. We didn't have a fucking Gordon Ramsay throwing it at us. We've been, we actually have been chit-chatting about the Turtles, Teenage Mutant variety. That reboot they did, that did no justice to that 
franchise. Wasn't it a cartoon or something? No, well, it, it was like mostly CGI. Yeah. Uh, dude from Jackass played Leo, I think. We're just looking Knoxville. for something that it's going to be hard to find, though. Right. And the more and more we see, like, Disney and how they can handle Marvel, these other universes just screw shit up. Well, you I, know I just saw there's been a He-Man movie canceled in almost every decade oh. since the 80s. You know who would be a great uh, uh, human uh, He-Man right now is John Cena, who's oh, busting into acting. And everything that's He's comes out of this guy's into mouth is acting wrestling. with The Rock. <laughs> it's not all wrestling. I don't even like WWE. The Rock's acting career needs to end, and it needs to end now. This he's guy, a modern-day Schwarzenegger. Why oh in the world? God. No, he's why a, in the he, fuck? He's a modern-day douche, is what he is. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's great. Stop making these poopy fucking movies. He's Schwar- great. Schwarzenegger has acclaimed film to his fucking credibility. What, dude, the Rock's in so, Jumanji, the remake. So what? He's Sells in, like two hundred million worldwide. Dude, I, I'm not saying it doesn't make money. This is a different. I mean, this is how we have different views on this show. That's a different animal. Fuck the money. And fuck the police, yo yo. I like the money. <laughs> yeah, and I hate the police. Did you see Jumanji? If you tell me some of these are good movies, I'll. I'll oh, then you have an fucks argument. Up ever, all those. Right. Yes. They, have you ever seen the Tooth Fairy before? No. The, the, the Tooth Fairy before? G.I. Joe. Dude. I just watched G.I. Jane. Mm. He's in that too. Demi Moore. <laughs> Love me a little Demi strip Moore in The Rock. <laughs> Damn, is she put together well. Yeah. Did she get implants? Yeah. Yeah. Those are delicious. <laughs> she got great ones. Little areolas, little fucking erasers. She got the perfect little set. Oh. Yeah, I liked the... Uh, Strip tease was okay. It was pretty good, actually. It's pretty funny. Must be Burt Reynolds or something. Yeah. Plays. Speaking of wrestling, last night on a pay-per-view, there's a transgender male, Samoa man, that is a female. Pink dust, they call her. Nyla Rose. Oh. This gargantuan man has a massive <laughs> gut, but wears women's clothing, right? So, like, his gut... He's in a battle royal. <laughs> Throws all throws all ten women out, bro. <laughs> At once. No, but throughout through all ten women out wins the thing. Jesus. So like they're trying to be like cutting edge, like, oh see, like, it's a woman. But like, what? Like dude, so this dude things. just picked up the women and threw them out like gargantuan man. <laughs> they're so like Galangela? <laughs> Hold on though, I had a point though with the Ninja Turtle shit. I got this plan. We're gonna be making a it's gonna be a new trailer for a film, Middle Age Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the premise is Leo dies, all right? Some battle goes wrong. Leo dies, they lose their fucking leader, right? Raph leaves, Mikey starts stripping, and Don, Donnie's on heroin. <laughs> you could play Mikey, dude. You gotta fucking, you're not, you're not so fit anymore. You're not, you're not a teenager anymore. But he's stripping? Yeah, he comes, like, we could just have this one scene where Mike comes home from stripping. Donnie's all strung out on heroin, playing video games all day and shit, you know? I don't like to be Raffy that leaves and gets a meth. I no, was thinking, someone skinny's got to play him. No, I was thinking, what if Raph is the bad guy in it? Like, it's a fucking full-on twist. Leo learns some, like, secret technique and doesn't want to teach it to Raph because he, he doesn't think he's ready for it or something. Then Leo dies and fucking Raphael goes and learns it. It's almost like a blatant ripoff of Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but with Ninja Turtles. So. You should see this head. I found this head by this dumpster. It's like a bust. A plastic bust of a human. So I grabbed it. I'm going to paint this thing up all nice and blow its fucking head off. I should pull this job. thing up, man. <laughs> Mannequin <laughs> man! <laughs> so... I'm always thinking about making skits. I found this by the dumpster. We're gonna paint it up real nice and fucking blow its head off. Or <laughs> grind it up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You don't think Chuck can do something good with this thing? Let me see that thing. <laughs> hey. Jimmy's henchman from before. I'm gonna grind that skull up. But thanks for tuning in. Jimmy's got himself a little friend for the evening. I've got head. You finally got yourself a drink, a drinking buddy. I finally got head. <laughs> you ever heard of mannequin head? <laughs> it's a little stiff, but... 
Yeah. He's an animal. <laughs> this thing's an animal. You want to double make, just make sure you want to have this on the, the airwaves. You're fired. When your mom calls you and you go, did I hear you got a mannequin sucking your dick on this last episode? It's my girl. Do you want to give your tagline or are we out? Thanks for watching, guys. A Arrivederci. Bat dance. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing some fucking bat song. Bat dance. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. it's, I mean, it's not good, though. It's Tim Burton really went on. It was good at the time. <laughs>